right. Are yeah. you ready, Rob? <clears throat> I'm ready. Are you Kay. guys ready? Yeah, they said they're ready when we are. Oh. <laughs> so I guess we're ready then. <laughs> we're ready. All right. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> uh, that, that was really terrible. bad. Other arm. Other arm. Other arm. I told you. Ah, uh, that, that felt more... <laughs> That felt more good. <laughs> good morning. 大家好,早上好。早上好。早上好。早上好。早上好。早上好。早上好。早上好。早上好。早上好。早上好。All right, what's up, guys? This is China on the Internet, and it's your boy, Rob Chen, here. I'm Christina May Chen, and we are not, not related. related. Cool. So, um, I don't know if you guys have seen, but the new Mulan trailer just dropped. Like two days ago. Two days ago. That was hype. I know we talked about it a little bit in our first episode, mm. but now that there's a lot more info out, we would love to watch it with you all yes. live. Let's watch it together, guys. Let's watch it together. Yes, let's get right into it. We're oh. watching it on Weibo right now. Cool. Oh, I haven't seen it on Weibo. I mean, it's the same. But there's Same Chinese sub, uh, Chinese um, subtitles, just like the music. Yeah, we got house. Yeah, let's use. Dude, he's That's like him. every move time on. He's so pretty. Do you hear the undertones of reflection? Mm -hmm. Right? Because it's not a musical anymore. Yeah. Composed. I love soundtracks though. Mm -hmm. You know she's 32. She's 32? Yeah. She looks Man, like she's 12. She looks, she's, yeah. Asians don't raise him, what can I say? <laughs> Yo. That hair flip? Yeah. Yeah, that's the, the avalanche part. Ugh. I'm the getting Huns. chills. Can you just, like, what the heck? I used to do that as a kid all the time. Hua Mulan. Mulan. Spring 2020. I think it's hey. March 23rd, March 27th. Something it, like that. They have they already announced, like, an they official did. release date? They did, they did. I know, March 27th. Hey, ah! that's crazy, crazy, crazy stuff about this movie. And, um, yes. We, we've, been, we've heard about this Female movie. director. Female director, who is it? Isn't that amazing, Nikki Caro? Nikki, Nikki Caro. Awesome, so good. awesome. Yeah. Nice. And what are well, your... from, my, from what I hear, right, mm -hmm. they, they're not following, like, the... They're not following the Disney... The cartoon. Cartoon. Mm -mm. Um, because there's no music in it, and... There aren't any musical numbers in it. Yeah. I... Don't Shang's believe Shang's not in there either. I don't believe Shang is in there. No. Which, you Come know, I, I'm I, all about I, I that. I wanted that Asian male I lead in there, I also wanted you know? that bisexual representation. You know what I'm saying? Because he's definitely attracted to her when she's ping. Yeah. He definitely <laughs> is. So, kind of wanted that in there. You but, wanted it in there. You um, know? Can't and, always get what you want. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then Mushu, I don't think. Because, like, how are you going to have a live-action lizard? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't, Without I don't, it being silly. No, that's very, very true. I don't, I don't think there is... At least there's no mention of it. Yeah. Also, I like, no one can top Eddie Murphy, but... Eddie Murphy as Mushu. Yeah. Oh, uh, that was great. Yes. And the but cricket? The cricket? Who knows? Who, Who knows? knows? It's we, not we, we, clear. We, this is the teaser trailer. Yeah, it's the teaser, so I'm we're just getting yes. taste. I know? think you see the general storyline, which is that she goes to war yeah. instead of, you know, right. getting married. Mm -hmm. But I'm excited to see, like, what the conflict is when she's actually at the camp getting mm. ready to go to war. Because Word. there's no Shang, yeah. I know there's Ling, I know there's Po, and then there's, um, what's the third one? Yao. Yao. So Yao. you still have, they still have the, the three dudes, <laughs> Yao. The three dudes. Three dudes from like the animated series. You know? So I'm pretty sure that there will be some sort, or I'm hoping at least, there will be some sort of, um, I forgot to start the timer. I'm the worst. It's okay. <laughs> there, so we normally have a little timer just to keep things on track, but but I forgot. We riff off anyways. But it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Um, um, so I'm, I'm curious to know some of these other actors who are on it. Like, I, I, know, I know Jet Li is going to be in it. Donnie Yen, who, if you guys haven't seen some of their movies, you guys are living under a rock. Please go watch <laughs> Man right now. So Jet Li's playing the emperor. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. 
And Rosalind Chow, which Rosalind you may know Chow. from Freaky Friday, amongst mm. other things, is playing Mulan's mother. Mulan's mother. Hua Li. Along with the father, played by... Played by Tai Ma, who I actually met Tai Ma... So cool. Um, ...like a few months ago in New York. Uh, he, he's, the, he's the guy who plays the father in Rush Hour 1, who's... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Who, whose daughter gets abducted. Yeah. Um, he's also going to be in the movie with Aquafina, Farewell. And he's also going to, he's also in Moonlight. He's killing it. This dude's just, he he's killing it in the game right now. So, he is killing props it. Props to you, Tai Ma. I don't know if you remember me, but if you do, that's good, bro. <laughs> Let's get coffee and bubble tea sometime. Tea, yeah. not tea, coffee. Tea, not coffee. Yeah. Yeah. Dang. It looks like it's a pretty. You know, it's a pretty solid cast, yeah, and, and, which is really um, cool. And you face, she's like a pretty big, uh, like actress in, in China. China. Yeah, right. so people are stoked that she is getting this global recognition because yeah. she's a Chinese actress, and she's um, as opposed to Chinese American, which also would have been, you know, it's it a Hollywood cool movie, too, Disney but movie. But I, I actually like. It's what really doing cool that casting. she is, um, she is, you know, the star of this movie, and she's. You know, born and raised in China. Mm. Um, it's crazy. She's like 31. But yeah. Oh my gosh. She's known for her sweet and delicate image. Oh. So as a very feminine person, which is really sweet. It's really great. But it's also cool to see her in this different light. Yeah. And a, do you see that twirl that she did? And oh, did her I face was just like, Sick. yeah, I just did that kick. What do you call it? I don't even know. A backflip. Kick, flip, jump, hop, skip, hip, bitty hop. Yeah, um, there's some that. really cool... Uh, reactions on Weibo like, like the comments. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious to know what, what yeah. like, Chinese people think about it like in China. I can I so I I can't read Chinese that well. So it well, says like, 3468 Oh, 1 is 10,000. That's yeah. a unit. So Whoa, this, this times 10,000. Already has got over So million, right. No. Let's math. Mm, we're both actors, we know. <laughs> What's three? We're both Asian. We can't four, even do math. Four, six, eight times ten. <laughs> times ten. Thousand. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Thirty. So this is math. Thirty-four million views in that's China. In two days. Yeah. In two days. Two days, that's and that's not on YouTube. Crazy. That's on Weibo. That's, that's on, on Weibo. the Chinese, uh, like the Chinese platform. Like that's. It it's really, not even Yoku. It's not even Yoku. It's Weibo. This really, this trailer just blew, blew up. up. So many people. Look at all the about exclamation it. points. Okay, we'll yeah. read some of them for you. Rob can't read Chinese, but I can. I've, my, so, my literacy is like first grader. So someone says, "Zhe tai shi hua mulan," which means this is hua mulan. Mm. So not necessarily dissing the cartoon, but it's yeah, saying like, like, "Oh, this is the real. This is the real deal." Mm -hmm. Which is really the cool. one like she's in is in the Ming Dynasty or what was the well, Ming the Dynasty? original. Um, you mean the movie or the no, myth? the original um, story, the ballad, the ballad. Yeah, we can look it up. I think it's the Ming Dynasty. Mm. Yeah, um, yeah, it's a, it's a, original, you know, myth, but it's based on a real story. Um, mm -hmm. Legendary Chinese warrior from the Northern and Southern Dynasties, period of 420 to 589. It's the Ballad of Mulan. And she's disguised as a man, takes her father's place in the army, and she fights for 12 years and gives high merit but refused any reward and retired to her hometown. Wow. It's um, over a thousand she's years later. The play from the Ming Dynasty takes place. So uh, the play that happens gotcha, later is gotcha. take, takes place in the Ming Dynasty. I see, I see. Huh. So lots of different adaptations. So I, I feel like, so because I've also saw some comments about how there was not like a full like continuity with the time and mm. how like um like the houses that we just saw at the beginning they were like Hakka houses mm -hmm. which is more like in that time period of like of the northern and southern dynasties between like 420 to like 589 mm -hmm. the year um, but then as it as it progresses she's also like there's I've, there's some like Chinese uh, netizens who've said um, oh but then like with what her is makeup, a Chinese netizen Rob. Aside from just Chinese, a netizen mm -hmm. is like an internet person. So anybody on the internet, you know how there's never a heard citizen. That before. You never heard of it before? No. Yo, oh, so my sister's not even. Internet. She's not hip on the I'm times. I'm really not on yo. the internet a lot. You gotta lot. get on all this stuff. You know, TikTok. You know, <laughs> wave all that. A netizen is like a citizen, but on the web. That's why it's a netizen. It. Yeah. I'm on Instagram a lot, but that's about it. That's about it. Oh, 
which speaking of Instagram and social media, follow Chinosity News on Instagram and on YouTube. Every Wednesday. Every Wednesday is our podcast coming out. Um, but anyways, back. Uh, I have, so I heard that the continuity wasn't fully in, in time in terms of like, oh, there was like, she was wearing a certain dress that was like. That's like uh, a modern. More of a modern like Beijing it. opera type of dress. Interesting. Um, but that being said, also I, I, just basing on what I hear, mm -hmm. the original ballad, mm -hmm. and of the actual and the person, mm -hmm. and then the play that came out, on top of the different adaptations like the Disney adaptation mm -hmm. too, it seems more like time fluid. I guess you could say uh. I, I wouldn't really. So that's why there, while while there's some people who are like, oh, was that like fully fully accurate to that specific time? I, it's hard to say what is the actual time yeah. period of it because of these different adaptations. I think if anything, they're trying to honor all these different times and totally of, of when the play came out a thousand years later, mm -hmm. as well as like the Disney remake because there was those three the those three, three characters musketeers the th yeah. who were in it as well, which because mm. they're, they're not in the original ballad nor they're in or the original play. So they're they're, in the Disney remake. So it's kind of like an alternate universe, yeah, kind it, of like it, where it time doesn't way. because they're using you know wartime. Uh, they're using swords and they're yeah, riding on like horses. It's, ancient, it's very yes. clear that it's ancient China. Yes. But the specifics of it may with be... With the costumes. Yeah, yeah. with the costumes, mm -hmm. as well as with the makeup mm -hmm. is a little different. On top of which, there's been some uh, there's been some Chinese like netizens who also said like her makeup on her forehead, if we see it, there's one part where she's like, her matchmaking forehead. Yeah. It's like uh, a lily pad. Uh -huh. um, but it, it looks, apparently it looks really, really similar to the logo of Huawei. No, really? Yeah, check it out. Check it out. That's, if you look at... <laughs> imagine if that's like an Easter egg that they put in there. Yeah, that would be crazy. Be? So, oh my God, right, right, right? That's an act. That's we're, an act. We're going to have, we're gonna have like, the logo. We'll, we'll show you the pictures of it, the Huawei picture, as well as... The Lotus. The, the Lotus in it. And so if you were like, oh, wow, like, she's like so patriotic to the country. That's <laughs> really She's funny. still loving the Huawei, even that's in battle hilarious. and combat, you know? Well, this movie was filmed like before the whole Huawei scandal really yeah, came to light. Exactly. So I, I don't think it has anything to do with Huawei. It just that's like, happens so that it's funny. Yeah. So for those of you who don't know, like there's a ban yeah. on Huawei right now because of mm -hmm. a certain administration, which we won't go into. But yeah, but <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway, so, so let's go back to these comments again. Wow. I pulled some out of the comment section. I went through them all, and then. Wow. I put them in Google Translate for fun, even though I can read them just to see what they translate it to. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, one person, you, if you you could read it, then I could translate it for you. <laughs> and you can see if you can guess what it means. I, guess what it means. I feel like that would just take a lot of time for yeah, us. That's true. <laughs> so basically, the overall consensus is, wow, this is the first time this has happened. Mm -hmm. A Chinese princess in a live action film with an actual Chinese actor playing yeah. the playing all of the roles, and this is so exciting. And someone says, this is the translated version, it says, it's a good one for foreigners to withdraw Chinese elements. Hmm. But what they were trying to say was, it's really awesome for for the whole world to finally see like elements of Chinese culture being brought out in a movie yeah. and it being positive. So yes. it being an awesome movie starring it, this it is awesome. badass female lead who's going to war in place of her father mm -hmm. and showing all these different elements of Chinese culture like the house that they live in, the clothes that they wear, the traditions yeah. that they have, even if the traditions aren't necessarily like fully to the time to that specific time, right. you know. So that's cool. Someone said, "Watching this, I am much more emotional than I imagined." Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, and this is my favorite one. This one is "shi gong zhu de yang zi ye shi dai shi de yang zi," which mm. means like she is a princess that. and she's a warrior. And she hey. was, and then they were like, "Can't wait for Mulan." Oh. Like, me neither, sis. Me neither. And then someone said, "Wa kula, wa jen the kula." Wa kula, wa jen the kula. Which means Anime I cried. Tears. I really cried. Wow. Um, yeah. There's like there's somebody Oops. I also read on on the internet. Mm -hmm. Somebody said, "This is the first time where I got so emotional that I changed the time of the video to half to half the speed so I could watch it again in half the speed." Whoa! Yeah. I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, you could. That's really cool. Yo, someone. Give this girl a book or something, you know. On what? Internet lessons? On internet lessons. Sorry, girl. I'm like really inept when it comes to that. I just kid. She's like my sister anyway. And someone just <laughs> goes, ah. 
<laughs> it's like five oh. million like characters of the ah uh, character, the, uh, character, which is like yeah. screaming. Yep. <laughs> yeah, well, gender cooler ah. Uh. So much ah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And then someone is like gender <laughs> sure Hua Mulan. Like it's that's really real. that's really Hua Mulan. Oh, our time is up on Weibo. We have to now sign in to keep viewing these comments. Hey, but not all platforms are free. I guess. All that right. It's okay. But wow, that that is something. Crazy. It's crazy. It's yeah. a global thing. It's coming out next year. March twenty seventh. March twenty seventh, twenty twenty. So we'll be on the lookout but for I'm that. sure another trailer will drop sometime this fall. Oh yeah. Definitely. With more because she only, we only really hear her say one thing, which is I will bring honor to us all. Yeah. And I'm wondering what the fight other dialogue is gonna be like. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I'm, curious. I'm really curious to see I don't see a cast member listed mm. for one of the the Hans, you know what I mean? Oh no, they they they're there. Where? Um, so, Commander Tung, that's the Chinese side, though. Where's the? But, Bori Khan. Oh, Khan. Khan because so I, I guess like the Duh. the Hans are like would be Khan like Kublai Khan and Genghis Khan who are, well, they're from Mongolia so, mm -hmm. and the Huns are from Mongolia mm -hmm. so they came from the north and they invaded south. That's oh, why the there Wall. is the Great Wall of China mm -hmm. built in the first place. FYI. Yeah, there were no shots of the Great Wall in this trailer. Am I wrong? Just at them prepping at the camp. Yeah, I, I didn't see any, but... I can't wait for that intense scene oh, where the avalanche, and it's yeah, like yeah. all the Huns like coming down the mountain, and it just oh. looks like a s army of we saw We saw a little bit of the avalanche in this trailer. So. Wait, did we? Yeah, we did. Where? Yeah. I missed it. I was it. in there. It, the snow. A bit of snow. That oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, I, feel oh, like that I can't was like wait. the beginning of the avalanche. Yeah, so... Ladies and gentlemen, Can't wait. Mulan, it's coming out. Check it out. I'm and so well, you know excited. what I'm also excited about what? this film mm -hmm. is what happens afterwards. I'm excited to, for what happens after this movie comes out. Well, there's a second one. What? The, well, Mulan not 2? What do you mean? Oh, from the Disney? Yes, like the cartoon. When they're when they're where they're I don't their mission that. is I taking the three princesses that. across the the country uh, I don't to be sold that. to the one I don't other prince no, I, in exchange for world peace or nationwide peace and then the three princesses end up falling for the three guys yes i saw that movie like, it's so good i didn't i didn't think it was good <laughs> i thought it was trash compared to the first one why there's that amazing song called like other girls where they're the princesses are like i want to be like other girls i think i okay here's how i put it i think it's great like that they're like the three princesses now like are going there, and you know they and they're, they're t they have more songs, and it's great. But I didn't think it had it wasn't nowhere nearly comparable compared to the first one. Why? It's where Mulan and Shang realize that their honeymoon phase is over, and they actual actually have real relationship problems. They're not just it's, like, oh, by the way, I'm actually a girl. We can be together because that yes, is kind of a yes. BS ending if you think about it. It is mm -hmm. uh, okay. If we're gonna talk about like women empowerment, sure, I think and representation, <laughs> great. Have it all, take it. <laughs> but I was so used to being like, okay, you know, there's gonna be some cool fights. Like there Mulan's were cool gonna... fights. When they think that Shang dies, I, it still was nothing compared and to she the first saves... one. If, right. Okay, if you get, for those who are you guys watching or listening, if you guys see the first one and you guys see the second okay. one, you let me know what you think. Okay, number I'm not one saying one is better than the other. I'm just saying that number two is just as good. Oh, I just think no, you can't. Not at all. Well, okay, obviously, the first Holy. one's iconic because it's. It's Mulan. iconic for a reason because it's that good. Yeah, but the second one isn't like. It's not like Shrek 2. You know what I mean? It's like, like Shrek 2. No, it's not. It's like Lion King 2. Did you. Who watches Lion King 2 compared to Lion King 1? Do you want to see Nala or do you really want to see Simba? Whoa, controversial. I'm gonna leave it. I'm kidding. I'm, I'm not, kidding. Not 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 that far, but I'm gonna get heated if we keep talking about heated, this. Why don't we watch it? Why don't we watch it together again? Because <sighs> it's probably been a while since you've seen it, and I just I saw it. Okay, I'm gonna admit to you. I saw the movie like two years ago, the second one. But did you watch it right after the first one? I didn't have to watch it right after. Okay. No, I actually didn't. No, I watched it with my cousin. And my cousin's girlfriend. I was third wheeling hardcore, and I remember watching both of these movies back to back. Well, I think maybe your feelings towards being third wheeling kind of rubbed off on you watching the movie. Anyway, we can agree to disagree, but I'm still right. Zip my <laughs> mouth. <laughs> anyway. Anyways. Yes. <sighs> Mulan, excited. Mulan, it's excited. summer. We're All great. the movie trailers are uh, coming out. Speaking of summer. Summer times. 
Yeah. School just got out. School just got Kids out. Kids are free. Um, We're going to talk about the Galco exam. Yeah, yeah. Because the, the scores result, came out. The scores just came out maybe like a week or two ago. Mm -hmm. So all these kids just like found out what scores they got. And what college they can now go to. So the Gaokao, for those of you who aren't familiar, is the Chinese National Entrance Exam. Um, mm -hmm. To put it simply, it is sort of like the SAT or the ACT, but, but it's, it's also not, not at the same yeah. time. And my mom was very clear about that. Yeah. So for <laughs> so my mom works in college admissions in China specifically. She works on helping kids from China get to schools in the States. Um, and with that whole process, not just with test scores, but also with transitioning, um, you know, with their lives as well. Yeah. So she does that. So she gave us, so shout out to my mom. Shout out to What's Mama What's up, Barbara? It's good. I don't call her Barbara. That's her name. But <laughs> <laughs> um, she gave us this huge fact sheet about the Gaokao, which is amazing because I never took the Gaokao because if you're an international um student in China and you don't have a huko, which is like citizenship, mm. you can't take the Gaokao. Yeah. And like I went to an international school for high school. If I had stayed, actually no, either way I couldn't have taken it because I'm a US citizen. But basically mm. the Gaokao uh, means literally like the, the highest, highest exam. Yeah. Um, it is the sole qualifying factor for where you go to, a student go to is college. gonna go to college. Yeah. It is the only thing. So in America, we have this holistic college process. Mm -hmm. You have your college essay, yeah. you have your interviews, interviews. you have um, your three supplement like paragraphs yep. that you write about your extracurriculars, you Com have your app. your community service hours, yep. the Com app, yeah. Extracurricular it's activities. Your resume, blah, blah, blah. So much work. It is I would not work. do it again. Yeah, and, what you explain, and now we realize why the US education is so expensive. Yeah. Right? And this is the only thing that matters when you are a student in China. That's crazy. Taking, it is this one test. Um, it spans over two days. Usually, what, early June, like June 7th to 8th? Yeah. Around? Two days. Um, you're tested in Chinese, math, and English, plus either humanities or science. But now they're implementing a new rule, which you're going to have to take humanities and science. Mm. So can you imagine taking a test in so the language that you speak, and then math, and then another foreign language, you have to take, the, and it's all over two days. Wow. Whereas like with the SATs, you have like the SAT, which is in your mother tongue, like in, yeah. in English. 100%. And then you have yeah. subject tests for like Chinese, French. Yeah, SAT two. Italian, or something like that. But yeah. those are on different days. And your SAT only lasts like, what, three hours? How long was it? Yeah, it was about like three hours. This is two ish, full yeah. days. Two full days. It's crazy. It's so crazy to a point where kids, get sent in buses to take the test. Like you go to a certain place <laughs> to take the test, you're in these like giant buses that'll take you there and it's illegal to honk around those areas. Yeah, they co they totally shut down like yeah. roads, factories it's around the air insane. around the areas. So it can be absolute silence. Wow. It and is yeah. How many um do you know how many kids I, I think it's about ten million Chinese students take this test yeah. every year 10 yeah. million 10 million that that's that's more than some of these youtube videos that we watch mm -hmm. over 10 million but only a quarter of them get in to well, colleges right? other, uh, yes at all yes and then some of them don't even get into like the college because they're tiered schools yeah, like, like tier, tier one, one tier two, two, two tier yeah three. um and the, obviously the higher your score the the higher the tier you get into but what's kind of messed up is that this exam even though it's national they're different depending on your region. Yeah. So if you that live. That's crazy. And what's also kind of weird about it is that if you live in Beijing or Shanghai, where the schools, like big cities where they have, you know, better schools than yeah. like the suburbs like, of China. Like Beijing University. Yeah. yeah. Peking like, University. Yeah. Yeah. Beida. Beida. Um, if you live in Beijing, your test is actually easier. Mm. supposedly than it is if you live like out in like some suburb mm. which is kind of backwards because the school systems are not as good out there so it's actually harder for all these kids who live outside in like traditionally like poor communities to get into the cities and get into the better universities that's like so the, it's, the opposite it's like a of, reverse of affirmative action yes, in a way exactly huh. so that is interesting i did not know that about that um that's crazy yeah and huh. so the students receive their score three to four weeks after the test. I can't remember if that's a normal, if that's what the SAT was too. It was so long ago. No, nah, I, I feel like 
I, I've waited way longer for my scores to come yeah. out. Yeah, I think I waited for a good maybe couple months. Yeah, maybe like I two think it was months, that yeah. three months or so. But, but yeah. I've, it's also been a long time since I've taken the SATs. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's I, been a I, while. I definitely like wouldn't have gotten to the school that I got into had it not been for my extracurricular activity. Totally. Like, resume. I didn't like, even take the SAT. I took the ACT. I couldn't even take the ACT. I was so bad in the ACT <laughs> and like I barely did well. I didn't. Even I took well the Chinese SATs, subject so. test though for SAT and I used that. SAT I also did the IB right? program. So yeah, the different. Gaokao is similar yeah. to the IB program in the sense that the IB, like, do you know what the IB, the yep. International Baccalaureate yeah. in the UK, in the sense that that is what qualifies UK students to get into their school. They mm-hmm. also don't really have, like, the other, the Common yeah. App. But the IB program is over two full years, and, like, it com- the IB score that you get at the end combines your work from your different your lab, um, like your lab reports, your tests, your oral reports, over two years it combines for a score. Two years. So like you have time to improve, yeah. but for the skull code, it's two days. And like, let's say you just are really sick. Like, like yeah, what, what if you, you have miss a, it? You have to wait till next year. Dang. Yeah. Or like, what if you have like a really bad cold and yeah. like you can take the test, but you're still really, you know, fatigued and tired. Yeah. If you get that's like it. Food poisoning, that's out. You're, you're that's out for it. a whole two yeah. days. Crazy. Dang, you gotta wait all the way next year to. Do you know my dad it. took this test when he was fourteen years old? Really? Yeah. Was that when it like got reinstated into the country of China? I mean, it was. That was. I mean, it was reinstated in nineteen fifty two. Mm. So he probably took it in. He was born in. Well, I shouldn't say that a lot when he was born. <laughs> um, he took it in the late seventies, I, I think. <laughs> so yeah, but wow. colleges determine their score after the test has been taken. So once they mm. see what the scores are, then they determine, like, the ranks of what they're going to accept. And then once students figure out if they're Tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 3, they choose five to six schools, like, of their preference. And oh, then gotcha, they see gotcha. where they get in. Appar- so it's just not at all. Like, Apparently, um, also based off of your score, like, mm-hmm. that will determine who your teachers will be. Oh, really? As well. Wow. Yeah, I read from an article somewhere. Somewhere we should there. fact check that. I got to fact check that. But I do feel, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if they did do that. Um, Kao Kao. Kao Kao. Score. Teacher. Google's free, everyone. The qualifications for these. Yeah. There's just so much because well, of recently, this, because yeah. the Kao Kao is now accepted in the States for that's some a, colleges. So there's one. a lot of that's articles that one. are popping up right now about that. Yeah. Well, we'll get into that later. Yeah. But yeah, so the Gaokao is now being accepted by lots of American universities, so Chinese uh, students. Are there like a lot of schools that are accepting it right now? I think it's over a thousand. Over a thousand schools are accepting the Gaokao? Yeah, I think that's what wow. I'm saying. Yeah. Wow, wow. Over, and not in just in America, in Europe, in Australia, in Australia as well. Hmm. Um, this is because they also have this sort of program, like the IB program, yeah. um, the A-levels. Etc. Um, so that's like a way for them to supplement it. Yeah. Say, okay, here's our school. But what's and different is that we start our college applications in like September for the next year, right? Yeah. But this test is taken in June, so it would be silly for these students to you know graduate, take their test in June, mm. and then yeah. have to wait until September to apply for the next year, and then they have a year between high school and college. So how would that work for for like a school or like a student? Yeah, so, using the Gaokao. so what happens is now kids who take the Gaokao in June, when they get their scores, they can send it to the college in the U.S., like depending on the college, and then also do an interview. And then for those two things, mm. that will determine if they get acceptance into the school for that same school year. So it's kind of a fast track. Wow, so it, how, was it like within like five days, like ten days or something? What did it say? I believe it was... Uh, might be like a couple of days for them to make an announcement of like whether or not they got accepted. Um, yeah, five days. Five days. Participating. Whoa, co- yeah. Oh, that's so crazy. Yeah. And this is through Initial View, which is actually the company. Hello, New York City. Welcome to New York City, where there's a lot of, a lot of sirens noise. everywhere. Hope everyone is okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Anyway, so the process for that that students can come to the States for college is through Initiative, which is the company that my mom works for. Mm. So basically you give them their scores, you do an interview with them. They, It's like 
an hour long or something like that. And then they, people who forward issue with you pass that info along to the colleges, and then the colleges have five days to decide whether they want to accept the student or not. And if wow. they accept the student, the student can go to school that fall. Right away. So can you imagine like taking a test in June, getting your score sent, doing an interview, and then three months later you're starting school at this college that you didn't even know you got into? Yeah. I mean, that wow. – Because we find out in like April – yeah, like April, maybe and then like you May. have until like end of May to decide. To decide, yeah, what school you're gonna. Yeah, yeah, you committed to a school at that point, and then you wait you know? the whole summer before you go, and like yeah. a lot of people change their minds in the summer. Yeah, I mean that, that's mainly for like you know like tier one schools in the U.S. Right, or right, right. private schools. Uh, I mean right. community college is like rolling basis. That's true. That's, so that's true. That's fine, but um, but for like most schools, that's like you know if you at least like a top fifty school, you're definitely you definitely know way mm-hmm. way in advance whether you got it in or not. Yeah. Now with AD and EA. Yeah. There's no such thing as early decision, early action. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. It's just, it's just a very different system. Mm-hmm. I'm curious. Did, is there like a test? Is there like a sample? Oh, of yeah. It? We can like, like try to take the test to see if we would pass. Yeah. CNN posted it. Where is it? Cool. So if you guys want to have a shot at this test, uh, there's like a sample version of that on CNN. Ready? Oh, All right. we're going to do it right now. We're going to do it right now. Okay. <clears throat> arts. arts. Are Liter- you reading it? You read it. Okay. Arts. Literature and art are products of the time in which they are created that also reflect the spirit of those times. Choose the correct pair below. One, dramatic changes of, in society following the Industrial Revolution, rise of modern art, intensified social conflict in Western capitalist countries in the 19th century, rise of realism, Spiritual crisis of the West post World War Two, birth of World War One, impres- World War One, birth of impressionism, and prosperity of Western capitalism after World War Two, birth of Romanticism. <laughs> what? I think it's the World War Two one, prosperity of Western Time capitalism like the after World War Two. Times. I sound confident, but I, I'm not. I, 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 sound, I, I feel like you're right. I think it might. Be- <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, oh, rise of realism in the 19th century it's intensified social conflicts in western capitalist countries in the 19th century so the 1800s rise of realism oh duh absolutely okay well I I thought I was the other way too okay well that's the first question all right like the UK <sighs> and France wow. yeah that was obvious that, was, that okay makes sense. Geography. Between June and August, a cruise ship travels from Fujian province to Venice, passing Mumbai. So Fujian, which is south? South, yeah. To Venice. Venice. Okay, Italy. Passing Mumbai. Mumbai in India. Oh, wait. Fujian. Where is Fujian? But we can't Google because this is... No cheating. No cheating. cheating. Because cheating is very, very illegal. Stay in school, kids. Which of the following would it experience on the way? Okay. Fujian to Venice, passing Mumbai. So pass, which of the following would it experience on the way? When passing through the South China Sea, the cruise will face continuous rain. Okay. June and August, I guess that is, no, rainy season is like that is, January. That is during, no, that no? is during the rainy season. Really? June to August, typhoon season. But where? I'm thinking of like South. Yeah, in South China. I mean, I don't Beep. <laughs> <laughs> when passing through the Red Sea, large stretches of forest will be seen alongside the coast. Okay. okay. When passing through the Arabian Sea, the cruise will sail against winds and currents. Okay. When passing through the Mediterranean Sea, the cruise will experience several days of rainstorms. I'm in between the Mediterranean Sea, where they experience several days of rainstorm, uh-huh. and the Ch- South China Sea, where the cruise will experience face continuous rain that is why i'm going between those i'm also hesitant for the trees because you feel like there's not gonna be a lot of trees around there no not around i don't know okay so which one are we doing this is a great way for you to see how but this is crazy because this is not the kind of question that you would get on an sap (laughs) that's crazy but i guess this is good knowledge to have if you were ever to be on a cruise ship okay this is good let's just do Let's do, I think we should do rainstorms. You think rainstorms? Yes. Oh, no, it's not. Yeah. When passing through the Arabian Sea, the cruise will sail against winds and currents. I wow. told you rainy season is in 
Because you know how I know this? How do you know? How because you know? when we were living in Beijing and deciding on where to go on vacation during like the Chinese New Year time when we have school, it was always bad to go to like Indonesia and the South, like Southeast Asia, because it was rainy season. I am the representation of the ignorant American who is just stepping. But that's also Asia. like, oh, where are we gonna go for vacation? And that's yeah. how I know that. Okay, <laughs> grammar. Okay, in grammar, blank ourselves from the physical and mental tension. We each need deep thought and inner quietness. So whatever that word is, oh. ourselves from the physical and mental tension. We this is an each English question. Deep so we should get quietness. this correct. So it's having freed ourselves. From the physical and mental tension, we each need deep thought and inner quietness. Or to free ourselves from the physical and mental tension, we need deep thought and inner quietness. Mm -hmm. Or freed ourselves from the physical and mental men mental mental tension, we need deep <laughs> thought and inner quietness. Yeah, or freeing ourselves from the physical and mental tension, we need we each need deep thought and inner quietness. That is a tongue twister. If we don't get this right. <laughs> I don't it's know. Too free. It's too free. It's like, yeah. It's too free. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. I'm so glad hey! we got that right. We got that right. <laughs> One question right so far. All right. Politics. China adopts the policy of freedom of religion, of religious belief, and act and actively leads relig uh, and actively leads religions to be adapted to socialism. This means religious figures and believers are required to. Is that tr is that a true statement? I don't think there yes. is freedom of religious beliefs in China. You're free to practice whatever it is that you want to practice. Questionable with what's going on what's right, now. right now. But um, anyway. Debatable if we can <clears throat> talk about it. Yeah. I wish we can. Um, <laughs> this means religious figures and believes are required to A, arm themselves with uh, Marxist theory and scientific and cultural knowledge. B, interpret religious teachings in keeping with materialism. C, obey and serve the best interests of the country and nation while practicing religion. D, love the motherland, support the leadership of the Communist Party and the socialist system, and comply with national laws, regulations, and policies. So those are the four questions, four answers. And there's also selections where you could choose A, B, oh my B, C, A, D, or C, D. There's a lot. So you can't see it, so we'll, we'll have to think about what it would be. I thought it was just going to be D, but now that I'm looking I at think all it's them, C and D, I think it's C and D. Which is obey and serve the best interests of the country and nation while practicing religion. And D. Love the motherland, support the leadership of the Communist Party and the socialist system, and comply with national laws, regulations, and policies. I think it's got to be C and D. Yeah. Yeah. I wish, yeah. Okay. Yep. yep. C and D. So we're 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 So your two country two. your country comes no, over no. your religion. Two right, two wrong. In 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 the case of this question yeah. with regard to China. So wow. Yes, yes, yes. Did you know that when I was in second grade I was in Chinese public school and I you know like the Hong Jin, like the red flags that they tie around your necks when you wow. swear allegiance to the Communist Party? You do that every single day. Well, you only do it once in second grade and then the rest and then every day you do like the but you know I did that? So like technically, wow. I'm part of the Communist Party, so you, you but I had no idea allegiance. what I was, I had no idea what I was saying. I was I don't in think second any of these grade. Kids what thinking of. Yeah, I mean, I can speak Chinese and I can understand, but like technically, I guess I'm still. I don't know. I don't obviously don't wear the red flag anymore. But I mean, hey, I I don't. I didn't really honestly. I didn't know what I was saying first grade, having my hand to my the pledge heart, of allegiance. You have my pledge of allegiance. I don't know the pledge of allegiance. allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic of which it stands. You know, I one still don't know. God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I still don't know that. I still don't what know What does that, that even mean, really? <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, I guess kids at a young age are being, oh well, a topic Brain for later. Wash. History. <clears throat> in a letter to James Madison in March, oh, I don't, no. I, I won't know any they of this. They have American yes. history in this? Yes. What? <laughs> right? Because normally you have like a world history. Oh my yeah. God. Yeah, okay. In a letter to James Madison in March 1787, George Washington wrote that a thorough reform of the present system is indispensable. None who have capacity to judge will deny. And with hand and heart, I hope the business will be essayed in full convention. What does thorough reform refer to? Does it refer to A, eradicating the defects of federal system, B, abolishing constitutional monarchy, C, establishing a republican system with checks and balances of three powers, or D, changing the loose federal system? That's on you. That's on you. Abolishing constitutional monarchy. 
All right. It has to be that one. <laughs> no, no, right. Changing the loose federal system. The U.S. history why, is not my jam. The reason why I thought it was was because during the Revolutionary War, they're trying to overthrow England, and King George III was take. They he pretty much ran the thirteen colonies. That's why I thought. But mm. I, but it also makes sense why it is. I do know like that from system. Hamilton. Um, then again, I I was already wrong because like that happened after the Revolutionary War. So what he's, I was I got tricked by the question. That's my fault. Yeah. What was the year again? It was after 1776. Uh, okay. 1770, yeah. All right, math. I should be good at this one. If x plus y is greater, greater or equal to a, and x minus y is less than or equal to negative 1, and the minimum va value of z equals x plus a y is 7, what is a? And the minimum of z equals x plus a y. A, a times y. So seven, I need like a piece of paper and like pen to write this out. I could do this if I wrote it out. Okay. But think, okay, this is a two day, this is probably one out of how many questions? How many questions are on the test? Like how much time do you even have to answer a question before you just need to be like, move on? You know what I mean? Yeah, well, I mean, you have two whole days for this test. But there are probably so many questions. These are just eight. Okay, so if X, seven. Hmm. Uh, dang, I gotta, this is tough, this is tough. Dude, I don't Z, think I can it, do is Z minus X equals wow, A Wow, my dad times is gonna y. disown me. So then, A <laughs> equals Z minus X over Y. <laughs> X mi <laughs> minus Y is less than or equal to negative one. <laughs> I can't. Oh. Well, it's gotta be five or three because the options are negative five, three, negative oh, five, or three, Oh, we could have just plugged those numbers in. I was three. trying to, okay, that was on yeah. me. That's because so. I haven't taken a test. Okay, let's try negative, okay, negative five. If it was was five. Well, it can't be negative because, because. That's for A. And. <clears throat> I think we're just gonna have to guess. You think we're just gonna have to guess it? <laughs> a. I think we spent too much time on this question. We don't have enough time. No, all right, let's just, I'm gonna close my eyes. Oh, it's three. We're terrible. I'm not even going to try to make sense of yeah. that. Yikes. Okay. Physics. Physics. Place two parallel charged metal plates horizontally <laughs> at equal width apart with point A in between them. Suppose point A point releases a. one charged particle and the particle stays stationary. If the two plates rotate by 45 degrees counterclockwise around the axis of point A, and then point A releases another identical particle at a standstill, that particle will be A, keep stationary, B, move straight down with a uniformity accelerated motion, C, move toward the upper left side of a uniformly accelerated motion, or D, move forward the bottom left side with a uniform accelerated motion. I don't understand this question. <laughs> I just know that every action has an equal, equal and opposite reaction. I just remember from physics, F equals MA. <laughs> That's all I know. E equals MC squared and um, F equals MA. Mm -hmm. Two particles rotate two, point it, it, counterclockwise yeah. right, and then point A release another. I think it'll keep stationary. Okay. I think it'll keep stationary. <laughs> it'll move towards the bottom left side with a uniformly accelerated motion. Okay, we have one last question. Biology. Which of the following statements does not describe homeostasis and regulation within the human body? Okay, I think I should be okay. So I Which does one. not do this? I don't know how to pronounce that word. Pituitary. The pituitary-derived yeah. hormotherin, hormotherin is directionally delivered to the thyroid gland via bodily fluids. 
don't know what that means. The secretion of insulin and glucagon glu is mainly regulated. Glucagon is re mainly regulated by blood glucose, glucose, concentrated as well as by the nervous system. Yes, that is correct. When a human body encounters <laughs> cold, both thyroid hormone and the adrenaline participate in body's heat production and regulation mechanisms. Yes, I think that is yes. Inadequate water intake could result in the pituitary glands release of antidiuretic hormone and accelerated water reabsorption and renal reabsorption. reabsorption. <laughs> Wow, we're killing it. Reabsorption in killing renal, it. tubule, and collecting duck. I don't know. Science is not my strong suit. What do you think? I think A is this wrong. This sounds too complicated for it to be incorrect. Okay. Yeah! <laughs> Yo, that was a great Deductive reasoning. So I knew those two were true. Wow. And then this one, I was like, that seems way too complicated to be made up. So uh. it must be that one. Okay, results. We got three out of eight right. We got thirty-five to forty-nine percent. So, so we, we would have gotten a. We wouldn't, we wouldn't have gotten. We, we wouldn't, wouldn't have gotten, have in. gotten into school. Would have gotten we, into school. If we were in China, we might as well just have oh. like immigrated to the states and like gone to community college or something. Or just That's like work a co work a job that doesn't require yeah. Or work a job that doesn't, doesn't require, require a college, college degree. degree, which actually. You definitely could do. You definitely could do. School. College is not. College is not all for everybody. It's cracked up to be. It isn't. To we be both honest. went to the same school. We know what it's like. <laughs> I studied business, and now I'm an actor. I studied theater, and now I'm still an actor. <laughs> <laughs> all right, hey, that's all the time we have today. Yes. Um, we'll see you next week. I mm -hmm. think we're gonna be trying some chicken. We're gonna try some chicken. I think so. Um, Maybe some and milk we tea. might even react to an artist. Uh, oh, great artist I like. We, we had a request. We had a request. For so, Nikki. Yes, yeah, so thank you for the request. Um, keep these comments coming. And yes. like I said. Uh, Let us know when you get on the quiz. Make yeah. us feel better about ourselves. Yeah, yeah, because if you guys do better than I, – I, I'm okay with you guys doing better than us because that means that our viewers are smarter. Yes. And I love the <clears> fact <throat> that you guys are smarter yes. than us because I will <laughs> learn from you guys. Um, but yes, leave us a comment. Uh, tell your friends about the podcast. Check Every us out. Every Wednesdays. Every Wednesdays is our new episode coming out. So, yeah. yeah. Thanks for tuning in. China on the yes. internet. I'm Christina May Chen. And I'm Rob Chen. We're not related, We're not related. once again. Peace. <laughs> Finally. Yeah. A good high five. You good high five. I think we went over.